Okay, burn coding. This one's for me. A student um, asked us to review ICD coding for burn. So if you have your coding manuals, I'm going to be turning to the tabular section of ICD-9, uh, starting with code 940. So at any rate, here's the burn category in ICD-9. And you'll see, just like all of ICD, you get your includes and excludes list. So it excludes friction burns, sunburns, and they forgot one if you want to write it in, sideburns. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I, need, I need a live, a bigger live group for that. Um, <laughs> At any rate, I, I do that sometimes because students like hang on to your every word and they write everything down. And they start writing and they go, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first thing we need to identify with burns is we've got these three digit categories. So 940 burn conf confined to ionid nexa. And by the way, the range for the burn category, it's telling us it goes from 940 to 949. So let's just get a lay of the land. What's the difference between the categories of three digits? 941 is burns of face, head, and neck. And 942, I'm going to turn the page. Just watch your audio because you're just dropping just a little bit. Oh, yeah, because I'm I'm having to twist over to where my camera is. Okay, I'm going to move my little microphone buddy here. Eek. Too many papers. All right. Can you hear me now? <laughs> we can hear you good. All right, so 942, burn of the trunk. So what the, the difference between the three, the, the categories is location, general location, okay? Now, this is the point where I'll ask my students, okay, what, what do we need to figure out next? And they'll say, oh, is it the chest, the back, or the genitalia? And I'm like, nope, that's fifth digit. We can't jump from third digit to fifth digit box. Okay, we need to go down below the box to the fourth digits. So this is good instruction, not just for burn coding, but for general ICD coding. Um, don't think that things go in order. So what's the difference between the fourth digits? And what I love about this is that they're all the same for each of the categories. A zero, point zero means unspecified degree, point one is first degree, point two is second degree, point three is third degree, point four is deep third degree, and 0.5 is deep third with a loss of body part, okay? So that's always the same. The fourth digit for ICD-9 is the, is the, the um, depth of the burn, if you will. So we know location, depth, and now we need to know more specifically the location. So for this burn of the back, if I said it was a third degree burn of the back, we're gonna say, okay, 942, of the trunk, and then the third degree is going to be 0.3, and then we come up to the fifth digit box, it's going to be 4. So 942.34 is going to be the code for that. That's pretty easy when you just have one burn. Quite often, unfortunately, there's, there's multiple burns to contend with. So what do you do when you have more than one burn? Like if I had a burn of the trunk and a burn of the arm, well, I'm going to have, I'm going to be in two different categories. So I'm going to have two codes. But what do you do when you have two burns in the same category? What if I have a burn of the back and a burn of the breast? They're in the same category, right? So if the back was a third degree and the breast was a second degree, what the guidelines tell us is that you, you code the most severe burn first. So it's going to be 942.3. but the fifth digit will be the fifth digit of nine, other and multiple sites of the trunk. You can tell I've been here before. <laughs> okay, so what a, a common newbie mistake is, they'll say, oh, coding guidelines say I code the worst burn. So they code 942.3 and they use four for back. When they miss the point that they should have used nine to indicate it's multiple burns in that category, the worst one being a third degree. Okay, so whenever you're coding multiple burns in the same category, you're only going to have one code per category. Okay, and if there's more than one, you're going to use 
the multiple fifth digit code. In this case, it's nine. All right. Now, the other piece of the story is using code 948 because I, I'm a mom. So you know, if, if my kid got hurt and they got burned and I'm getting a call, I'm going to be like, what percent of their body was affected? You know, is it just their finger? OK, we can deal with that. Um, but if it's like, you know, their, their whole arm or, you know, it's the extent, not just where and how deep, but the extent. So 948 tells that story. Okay. So, um, 948 says burns classified according to extent of body surface involves. Now I did make a little cross reference page, um, 77 of CPT has a nice kind of rule of nines, um, picture you can take a look at and they've got one of the baby that's a great thing to do by the way guys is is you know give yourself cross references i always pretend like it's my um pre-exam self writing notes to that self that's going to be taking the exam so when you're taking the exam you're like thank you lorene for doing that so um at any rate um we go to fourth digit first and we look at the fourth digits we've got 0, 0.0 is less than 10 percent 0.1 is 10 to 19 percent. 0.2 is 20 to 29. You get the idea. Um, what this is for, if you circled this and wrote a note, I would have you write total body surface area, TBSA. Total body surface area. So if you have a burn of the back and the burn of the breast, like we were talking about, what is the, the total, you know, percent of the body that's affected? Now that, so that leaves the fifth digit box, which is basically the same pattern. Fifth digit of zero is less than 10. Fifth digit of one is 10 to 19, et cetera. But this is for third degree burns only. So they want to know the worst burns. This is all burns. Fourth digit is for all burns. Fifth digit is third degree only. So the fifth digit number will always be the same or less than the fourth digit because it's a subset. So um, the rule of nines says that the, the head is worth 9% and each arm is worth 9%. Each leg is worth 18%. The back is 18%. The front is 18%. So in our previous example, we said the back was a third degree burn. Okay, and so let's just say that's 18%. And then we said the breast, second degree, and let's just call that, um, I don't know, 5%, <laughs> depending on <laughs> how endowed you are. Okay, so um, what you want to do is add them together to get the, the total body surface area. So 18 plus 5 is 23, right? And then of these two burns, which one is third degree only? The 18%, right? We don't, we don't carry over the 15% or the 5% because that's second degree only. So for the fifth digit, we're going to be focused on the 18%. Fourth digit, we're going to be focused on the 23%. So here's a neat trick. 948, whatever the first number is, 0.21, okay? Because... 20 to 29 percent, right? It's always going to be a two. That first number is always going to match. And then for the 18 percent, 10 to 19 is going to be a one. 948.21. Isn't that a cool trick? I did not know that trick. I am yeah. so excited to learn that. That's fun. <laughs> so that's how you should write it on your exam booklet. Identify all the burns and they like now. So this is for the 948 code. And then for the actual code, we realize this is in the same group. So that's going to be a 942. What's the worst one? 0.3. And then we need to use, you know, for the multiple. So in this case, you're only going to have the, not, the two codes. Normally, this one goes first and 948 goes second. Okay. And then just to finish up the discussion, if you have multiple, multiple burns, like you can't fit them in the number of slots that you have, there is code 946 which is burns of multiple specified sites. Um, so if you're going to use that category, obviously they're not going to use location because you're saying it's multiple, but you use the same fourth digits. Okay, so that is burn coding. I might mention real quick too though, when someone sees you do uh, the math, it isn't 
that you that's that's like the extent of math you do as a coder. That and adding your uh, uh, how size how the size of a lesion that's removed. So it's minimal minimal math. You do deal with numbers all day, but you don't have to do math. Great. And someone's in some the people chat are saying, scared of math. <laughs> yes, I know, but yeah, you have to do a little bit of math. Someone in the chat saying, "I love it when when Alicia draws pictures in class." <laughs> I, I'm a big picture drawer. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, my artwork is more laughable, but memorable. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.